In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this 12 point agenda slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have added the first agenda. You can put that as a step 1 or agenda 1. You can add the title, some detailed text and I have added some icon here. And then at the back side, I have given some shadow effect like this with some different color combination. I have added 6 agendas to the left side and 6 agendas to the right side. So I have created few more slides with some uh, minor variations. So let me just show you. So this is my second slide where I have used only the, the white background and then only this is the colorful one. So if you feel that this is too colorful, you can use this one and one more slide where I have reduced the size. You can see here I have reduced the size of this uh, particular agenda. So you can reduce it if you want or if you want only one color you can just make one color agenda also so you have got four different options to choose from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it uh, through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background. In this case, I have used some grayish blue here. Then go to insert shapes and from the rectangles, I'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle. Just click it here and shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill, make it white. Then I'm going to make the height as I'm going to keep it as one and the width, I'm going to make it as 5.5. You can see here something like this. And you can see the small orange point, you can just drag it outside so it becomes less curved. You can see here something like this. And then I'm going to add few more shapes. Go to insert shapes and from the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rectangle stop corner rounded. Draw this one and make it fully curved from the this one. Drag it inside. All right. Shape outline. Make it no outline and rotate. I'm just going to rotate right 90 degrees and then i'm going to place it here exactly in the center of this all right and then i'm going to add one more shape go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the right triangle draw the right triangle you can see here something like this shape outline no outline shape fill you can choose some dark color here and then I'm just going to rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it. You can see here, which is flip horizontal and then send this to back. So it looks kind of this effect. All right. And then I'm going to add one more uh, shape, which is the oval shape. So go to insert shapes, basic shapes, select the oval shape, click it here. This is a bigger size. Hold the shift key, reduce the size, shape outline, no outline, shape fill. You can give any color for the time being and later on we can change it exactly this also place it in the center now for this you can give some gradient fill right mouse click go to format shape and select the gradient fill by default four uh, stops will be there so two stops i'm going to select and delete it one stop i'm going to make it somewhat dark color so any color of your choice you can choose it maybe i'm going to choose a uh, dark red and this side i'm going to choose somewhat lighter red color all right something like this all right so it looks something like this and for this also i'm going to choose some dark red all right so let's see here so it looks something like this and then i'm going to give some shadow effect for this here okay so let me just go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape something like this shape outline no outline shape will make it black increase the transparency level go to the effects go to the soft edges and increase the this one so you can see here something like this and send this to back so depending on your requirement how much you need to show the uh, shadow effect you can keep it you can see here we have almost done with the design and then I'm just going to select all this and I'm going to move it here exactly here all right you can add some text also here go to insert text box I'm going to add the title all right and this title I'm going to give the same red color 
all right and then any font of your choice you can choose it maybe i can make it bold also this one this is the title and go to insert text box you can add some detail text equals to lorem within bracket one and i don't want this much big text i'm just deleting this and reduce the font size you can see here and then just put it here and if you're using the latest version of powerpoint then you can go to insert icons and you can just choose any icon of your choice so let me just show you the icons i think the internet speed is not that good today so anyway i'm just going to add this one click on insert and i'm just going to paste it here if you want you can just reduce the size to 0.6 all right and then i can give the outline as red outline and shape fill i can make it white or no fill or i can increase the weight also here all right so it looks something like this now all those things i'm going to select and group it before that one let me just add the one more detail here let me just zoom in all right here i'm going to insert text box i'm going to type 01 you can see here something like this or this can be done later part also it's up to you maybe i can just put maybe white font here go to insert again text box i'm going to type step and this also let me just reduce the size right align white font and i'm going to put it here so this is the step one all right now with this i'm going to select all press ctrl g to group it and hold the ctrl shift key together and then just add one more here just drag it so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select both of these again hold the ctrl shift key together sorry let me just select all or you can press ctrl a also and i'm just going to see so you can see here so depending on for example if your requirement for is for uh, 10 points only you can add 10 or 8 or 9 whichever way which you can see here you can just simply drag it down and manually you can adjust it also so you can see here i have added the red color one and then i can select all by pressing ctrl a and then i can just move it according to my requirement or if i want i can further reduce the size also so now this text is ready the design is ready it's time to just change the text maybe this is option two this is option three option four like that you can just change it and then again if you want to change the color of this you can select this one and for individual you can just go and change the color of your choice maybe i'm going to choose the dark green with the light green combination you can see here all right and this also i can just select and give some different color so it depending on your requirement you can just do uh, different color combinations here and if you want to do some basic animation you can add the animation to it